Hey everyone, it's Jack from whatculture.com here with a new story regarding the return, the potential return of Daniel Bryan to in-ring action in 2018. Now this story comes from an interview that Brie Bella recently did with From the Top Rope podcast where she said that uh, Bryan had recently been, well she said he'd set his sights on a return to the ring next year. Uh, obviously next year is when his WWE contract expires. She said that she'd given him her blessing to do so. She said that it's his dream and all that and she said that as long as the doctors green light it, she's happy for him to do it, whether it's in WWE or elsewhere. She also revealed that Brian had undergone around 40 therapy sessions across the USA to get him back ready for in-ring action. And um, this really raises the question, if WWE decide, uh, as we suspect, not to let him return to the ring, then where's he gonna go? Everyone's money seems to be on Ring of Honor. Daniel Bryan is, or Brian Danielson, as he was known there, is of course a former Ring of Honor world champion. He's a, a big fan favorite in Ring of Honor on the same level as like, big Ring of Honor legends like CM Punk, Samoa Joe, all those kind of guys. So if Brian was to go back to Ring of Honor, he'd have a raucous reception and he'd be very well, very well received, excuse me, indeed. And he could also have some fantastic matches as well. Finally, just a little bit of insight from Dave Meltzer in the Wrestling Observer newsletter where he said that although if Brian left, he probably couldn't top the money that WWE are offering him currently, he could probably get somewhere close to it on a far lighter, more kind of hand-picked work schedule. So Brian could pick his opponents from different promotions, go around, kind of like what Cody Rhodes did. He'd, he'd be doing a lot more of his own thing. And Meltzer also pointed out that Brian's never been a money guy. He's always been more about the creative endeavor. And there's no question that outside of WWE, he'd have the creative freedom to put on some far better matches. So that's all for now. Uh, what do you think of this new story? Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. I've been Jack from whatculture.com. Stay tuned for more news updates as the week goes on. Of course, Fast Count is tomorrow and I'll see you soon.